Maybe you heard this. Uh, Barbara Streisand's really making waves after she told Variety magazine she cloned her dogs. Yes, uh, she used cells from her beloved dog who died last year. Her clones were born a few months later. So how does dog cloning work? Good question. Heather Brown found it is not likely going to be a trend that catches on. Would you ever consider cloning Toby? No. I love him, um, but um, I like individuality mm -hmm. in dogs. Yes. Really? Why? Because he's perfect. <laughs> Most of us probably remember Dolly the sheep. Then came Cece, or copycat, in 2001. Snuppy was first cloned in South Korea in 2005, a good decade before Miss Violet and Miss Scarlet ever hit the scene. I didn't think uh, other than cloning a sheep was anything anyone was working on, to be honest with you. I didn't either. <laughs> that really isn't keeping your dog alive. Vet Francis Smith helps families with pet fertility. It's keeping the genetics alive, but it's still not fluffy. To clone, scientists take the cells of one dog, fuse those cells with an egg. That egg becomes an embryo, which is transplanted into a surrogate dog. It has a success rate of about 40 percent. How hard is it to clone a dog? Very difficult. Think you could get the same exact one? I think that's what cloning is. Yes, you will have a genetic copy of your animal, just like an identical twin. But they don't always look exactly alike. Check out Cece's face. And oftentimes the behavior is very different. I think the same as identical twins are also, you know, are, we are also products of our environment as well as our genetics. The cost, $50,000 for one company in the U.S., 100000 for another in South Korea. I mean, I think uh, $3,000 for a Labradoodle is expensive. Are the clones just as healthy as the dogs they came from? Yes, they are. Do they live as long? Yes, now they do. There's lots of dogs out there that need homes, mm -hmm. and you don't need to recreate one, especially just because you got a lot of money. You can clone dogs, but it's never going to become an everyday occurrence. Okay, so maybe we could get Toby to come back and not, you know, spit fur balls all over the house. Heather Brown. That would be nice. That would be very nice. WCCO 4 News. Who knew? Uh, cloning dogs isn't all that popular, but cloning animals for research or food is becoming more common. Uh, in fact, scientists have cloned more than two dozen species, including cows, deers, horses, monkeys, rabbits, and for some reason, water buffalo. If you have a good question for Heather, just email it by going to wcco.com links. That's it.